Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain storage classes in C language. What is a storage class? What are the types of storage classes? What are the features of storage class along with some comparison table? Now you see that uh, what is a storage class? Storage class in C language is optional. Even though you have not specified the storage class, it will not make any error. If you want, you can specify the storage class. Otherwise, you need not to specify the storage class. The syntax of storage class, just along with the variable declaration, prefix the storage class. If the storage class specifies the lifetime, scope, memory, memory location and initial value of the given variable, it is to decide where the variable is to be stored. That is nothing but memory location. What should be the default value of this variable? If you have not assigned any value, what will be the default value? Call it as default value. Generally, the default value may be zero or garbage. For auto, uh, auto and register, it is uh, garbage and remaining it is zero. That we are going to discuss in the coming topics. Scope. Scope means coverage area. From which area you are able to access this variable, you call it a scope. That scope may be within the block or within the function or within the program or within the file based upon the storage class and where it is declared. Block, function, program, file. Next, life of a variable. How much time the variable resides in the memory? You call it as lifetime of the variable. If the life, life is restricted within the block, so that means whenever the control comes out of that block, automatically the variable erases its value. If the life is function, that means the, the variable retains its value when the control is within the function. When the control is coming outside of the function, the variable loses its value. You call it as function life. Program. How much time the, the, the variable resides its value in the memory till the control is in the program. Once the control comes out of the program, it loses its value. So, these four properties we use it to define with the different storage classes. Memory may be the registers or memory. Memory in the sense RAM, R-A-M, RAM. Initial value, scope, life. Now you see the types of the storage classes. C language offers four types of storage classes. They are automatic, external, static and register. So, automatic is the most regularly using storage class. By default, all the variables are of auto. Now, you see the comparison. Auto, auto keyword, we use auto keyword to define the automatic storage class. In the same way, for external variables, we use the keyword extern, not al, only extern. Static, S-T-A-T-I-C, static, registers, register. These are the keywords. So, storage place. For automatic variables, we use the variable auto. Default storage location is RAM. And its initial value will be garbage. Garbage means some anonymous values. Generally, it stores, it gives the memory location. So, garbage value means, the garbage means dust. It is a random value. Any value it may be. Any, if you have not given any value to a variable and if you try to print that variable, it prints some anonymous value, unknown value. You call it as garbage value. The scope is local. Local means within the block or within the function. So, in which block you have declared that variable, in that block only, it is available. Lifetime, how much time it resides its value in the memory, you call it as within the function. 
next one is external external default storage location is ram and its uh, initial value will be zero you see for auto the default value is garbage for external the default value will be zero and its scope is global global means its scope is throughout the program throughout the program it resides its value till the end of the program lifetime is till the end of the program static is a special one its storage location is ram and its uh, default value is zero its uh, scope is local but that main picture is here the lifetime of a variable the lifetime of a variable the pro the function retains its value between the multiple functions even though you are coming outside of that function it will not lose its value it retains its value whenever you are entering into that function next time it continues from previous value it closes it loses its value only when you are closing the program this is the speciality so all the specialities are underlined uh, are colored with red register storage class is register and its default value is garbage value scope is local and its coverage area its lifetime is within the function now you see the main points of this storage classes auto and register almost same if you have declared any variable as a r register if the number of registers availability is not sufficient then automatically without giving intimation to the user the variables will be considered as auto even though you declare it as a register it will be considered as auto only the difference between auto and register is storage location by default auto variable stored in ram memory whereas the register storage class variables are stored in registers you will get one doubt if number of registers are not available in the cpu auto because the first priority will be given to the system variables to store to utilize these registers first priority is for system variables if the system variables are using all the registers available in your cpu then automatically the registers will be converted to auto without giving any notice to the user the end user will not get any difference between auto and register so when we use registers if you want to process the variables in a quick manner we use registers like uh, control variables for i value for a j value like that wherever you use control variables uh, looping statements we use those variables in register storage class default storage class if i have not specified any storage class by default it will it will be considered as auto next one if i want to make the variable as a global variable i use the storage class extern so storage location is ram and default value is zero but its coverage area its scope is global means in any function we can use that variable next one is static if you want to retain the values between the function calls we use static and its a default value is zero now you see the some programming examples on storage classes if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and post your comments now you see some programming examples for auto storage class auto is the default storage class its a default storage location is memory its visibility is local and its scope is within the program within the block and the storage location is memory block keyword we use the keyword auto a u t o auto stdevo.h conio.h void main now you see the picture here i have used the keyword auto auto 
data type i is 1. Normally, int i equals to 1, even though you give int i equal to 1, it will be considered it as auto. So, default storage, default storage class is auto. Next, within the another block, I am declaring auto int i equals to 2, auto int i equal to 3. You see here. Now, if I use this print statement, <coughs> what will be the i value here in this block, in this innermost block, innermost block i is 3. You see, that means this i, this variable auto int i equal to 3, its scope is within this red braces because it auto storage class scope is within the block. If I give printf in middle block i equal to percentage d so in this block in this blue color braces what is my i value i value is 2 you see the variable scope is within the block within the block for this variable int i equal to 3 the coverage area is within the block block means between the braces between the braces Next one. If I if I give printf i, I equal to percentage d, here what will be the i value? Have a guess. Yes, your guess is right. The i value is 1. Because the i value, this i value, this i value, i value coverage area is within the block. So, its, it's scope is 1. So, its value is 1. Now, you see the output. Innermost block i is 3. In middle block i is 2. In outer block i is 1. Now, what is the syntax to use this scope? Sorry, storage class. Simple thing. Storage class. data type variable you see storage class data type variable if you want you can give the initial value if you have not given initial value it will consider the default value